talked many times about what what makes a champion a champion, and it's really it's his mindset. There's certain types of people that would challenge themselves every day in life, and they don't have to be driven. Those are the kind of people need to be held back, and those are the people that usually the leaders. And there's the kind of people that are just the followers, that just go with what people say and just kind of follow along and just stumble through life. You know, this is why we choose weightlifting or bodybuilding or whatever we choose. When people take the path of least resistance in resistance training, it doesn't really ever make sense to me. I mean, the whole idea for doing it is to challenge yourself to be better, to be stronger in every way possible. So, squatting every day is just another way to challenge yourself. You know, I, I truly believe that uh, squatting every day is not really going to build character but it's gonna reveal your character. Like you're truly gonna find out what you're made of. Can you get up? Can you go to the gym? Can you get under the bar? You'll get tired and fatigued and you'll be sore and you'll hurt. But guess what? You're still alive. And you get up the next day and you do it again. And if you see things in your life from a point of necessity and not a point of desire, you'll be way more successful. The people that become world champions have that mindset. You can't beat those people. Because they give themselves no option for failure. Most people try to squat once a week with emphasis on try to squat once a week. I see it in the gym, guys going quarter way down, halfway down, skipping sets, talking a lot in between. So I built this squat every day trainer on that every day you gotta challenge yourself by going to squat first. You're gonna squat for 20 to 30 minutes, but then fit your normal splits in after that. The key is that you're bringing intensity right out the gate to the squat rack to really freak out your body. Put some real weight on the bar and let's set the tone for the rest of the workout right out the gate. And I want people to walk over to you and say, didn't you squat yesterday? And you say, yeah, I squat every day. Three main goals in this program. One, to get stronger and become a freak. Two, to add muscle mass with that hormone profile you're raising on a regular basis. And three, to really become just more of an expert in the squat in general. If you've ever trained any hardcore gyms, there's always an old guy that'll say, if you want your bench to go up, make sure your squat goes up. And that's true because what happens is that sets the tone for your hormone profile, for your testosterone and your natural GH in the body. So if you're squatting on a daily basis, in theory, you're raising all the other lifts that go up also. So the way this program originated was, in March of this year, I had a powerlifting meet that I bombed out in. So I decided I needed to do something crazy to increase my squat to another level. So I started reading online. I come across an article by a guy named John Bros, who's an Olympic lifting coach out in Vegas. After reading about John's concept of squatting every day, I kind of mixed and matched a couple different things that I've done in the past too. I took some of the West Side conjugate methods I learned from Coach Louis Simmons and also took some of John's stuff from the squat every day and kind of mixed them together. So a lot of people are gonna look at this and say, man, that's overtraining, they're gonna call it. But do you really know what overtraining is? Do you know the definition of overtraining? Is that you're sick, your immune system's hit? Do you even take yourself to that level? Because most people don't even know what that is. And the thing is, nobody's built with an orange man. Like, people don't know what they're capable of. You, why can't you squat every day? Have you tried it? How do you know? To me, that was incentive to want to do it more. It's like saying that I can't walk to work today because I walked yesterday. So I believe that anybody can adapt to this program, and eventually over time you build intensity and weight, and you continue to make progress in PRs in all different ways.
You know, I had three kids all start at the same time. They all had different starting points where they started when they came into the gym. And one year later, ironically, they all made identical gains. They all went up almost 200 pounds in their squat in a year, but they all started with a different starting point. So regardless of where you start or where you are, everybody can make progress. I mean, no one has a monopoly on strength. Anybody can get stronger. Don't you fucking quit! There's always two main goals for people, either to drop body fat or to gain muscle, or maybe a little bit of both. This plan is set up to where you can really dictate which way you wanna go. Because I've built out two specific nutrition plans to pick your goal. On the Squat Every Day Trainer, we're giving you a 30-day template for your workouts, your nutrition, and your supplementation. So this program doesn't discriminate. It's for men, it's for women, it's just for somebody with the hardcore mindset that wants to challenge themselves. So on Mondays, you're gonna squat, then hit your chest. On Tuesdays, you're gonna squat, and then pull, and then hit upper back. On Wednesdays, you're gonna go ahead and squat, hit your shoulders. Thursdays, obviously you're gonna squat, and then hit your arms. Friday, you're gonna squat, then touch on chest and back one more time. And then Saturday and Sunday is a little bit less volume. You're just gonna squat both days and hit a little bit of posterior chain work. So you might be thinking when you're listening to this that you're gonna be in the gym for like three or four hours, but that's not the case. Your squat is gonna take you around a half hour and the other workout will take you from 30 to 45 minutes. So you're looking at an hour to hour and 15 minutes. So no texting on your phone, no stand at the drinking fountain for 15 minutes, seeing what your boy's doing, get to work. Don't try to alternate the program with leg press or Smith machine squats. That will not work. I need you to get a real barbell in a squat rack, take it out and free squat it. That's why this program works so good. It's got to be difficult. Do not use a Smith machine and don't use the leg press or you're defeating the purpose completely. I'm gonna teach you 11 different squat variations to test yourself against. So each time you're going to squat, you're gonna be doing something different and trying to beat your old record. I'm not gonna go into each variation right now because I've provided for you videos how to perform each one of these squats. What I believe you need to be doing is post the video of that squat variation max rep each day to your body space so you can stay accountable to everybody on body space and to yourself. Squatting every day is uncomfortable. Getting out of bed early is uncomfortable. I believe you should get up out of bed early and go right to the squat rack. Set your day up in an uncomfortable frame of mind. And I'm telling you what, the rest of the day will be a breeze. You're gonna see a lot of results. You know, not just physically, but mentally. You know, I, I truly believe that uh, squatting every day is not really gonna build character but it's gonna reveal your character. Like you're truly gonna find out what you're made of. You know, it's gonna be very difficult and you're gonna challenge yourself. And after a while, it's not even about a physical challenge anymore because your body will adapt to that. It's about mentally, can you get up? Can you go to the gym? Can you get under the bar? Even just to get up and go to the gym half the time is half the battle. So I think that by squatting every day, now you're gonna see phenomenal results in your strength your overall size, mass, how you feel, everything but mentally, you're gonna grow stronger. After that period of time, everything else will seem easy. It's a mindset, you gotta go after it. You wanna be a freak in the gym, it'll carry over to every different muscle group. It'll carry over into your deadlift, into your clean, and your overhead press. You wanna be physically stronger than you should tackle this program. The next video you need to watch right after this is a squat history video so you can see why squatting is so important and where it all got started. It's time to step up your game, turn into a freak, upload those videos on your body space, and let's see what you got. <laughs>